Now we are going to discuss the multiple choice question on finance accounting become part 1 semester 2nd. It's a third part. Before that we are going to discuss the profit percentage on cost price or at invoice price. We know that here cost plus profit is equal to a sale price or it is also called as invoice price. Suppose we are given that profit is a 50% on cost price. It means cost is 100 then profit will be rupees 50 then sale price rupees 150. Therefore profit percentage on cost it will be 50 upon 100 it means it's a one half on cost price. If profit percentage on sale price it will be 50 upon 150 it comes one third on invoice price and here it is one third on a cost price. See the difference is that on invoice price one denominator is greater than the cost price. Suppose here it is one third on cost price it will be one fourth on invoice price. Similarly here it is one fourth on cost price it will be one fifth on invoice price. If it is one fifth on cost price it will be one sixth on invoice price. If it is one sixth on cost price it will be one seventh on invoice price and so on like this one. It means profit percentage one denominator is greater than the cost price. This is the easy technique of the profit percentage. Okay, we now go to question number 85. If the invoice price is 50% above cost, it means die dash percentage on invoice price or sale price. Here 50% on above cost price, it means 50 upon 100, it will be one half on cost price. It means one third on invoice price. One third means 33.33% is answers C in option. Option A is correct one. Question 86. Sir. If invoice price is one tenth on invoice price, here one tenth on invoice price, it means die dash on a cost price. It means one ninth on a cost price. One denominator is less than the invoice price. Therefore, one ninth on a cost price. C in option. Option C is correct one. Question 87. The stock reserve on closing stock appears die dash. It will appear on debit side of the branch account. Here option A is correct one. Question 88. Under branch account method, branch account is a, a nominal account. Here option C is correct one. Question 89. In case of independent branch, when Delhi branch sent goods to Mumbai branch under the instruction of head office, in the books of Delhi branch, die dash account is debited. Here, head of his account is debited. Option B is correct one. Question 90. Head of his in Mumbai sent goods to its Pune branch marked at 20% on invoice price. The cost of goods invoiced to the branch will be 64,000. What is the amount of loading on goods sent to branch? Here, 20% on a invoice price. It means a one-fifth on invoice price. It means one-fourth on a cost price. See, cost price will be 64,000. On this one, we have to calculate one fourth. It comes 16,000. 16,000 is a loading on goods sent to branch. See in option. Option B is correct one. Question 91. Vedanta store limited with its head of piece at Delhi. Invoice the goods to its branch at Agra at 20% less than list price. The list price is a cost plus 100% of profit. If the invoice price of the goods rupees 160,000, what is the amount of loading on goods sent? First, we have to find out the list price, which is a cost plus profit. Suppose cost is 100, then profit is 100%. It means a 100 plus 100, it comes a 200, is a list price. Now, invoice price is a 20% less than the list price. List price is a 200 minus 20%. It comes 200 minus 40, it means a 160 is an IP invoice price. Here, IP means cost plus loading. IP is 160, cost is 100, then loading will be rupees 60. In question, invoice price of the goods sent to branch rupees 160,000, which is a 
at a 160%, we have to divide 160 and loading is 60, we have to multiply 60 and answer cover is 60,000. This is the loading on goods into branch. See in option. Option C is correct one. Question 92. Opening petty cash at a branch will be 250. Petty cash remitted by head of piece will be 500. 250 plus 500, it's a 750. The branch paid petty expenses will be 450. 750 minus 450. Difference is the rupees 300 is the balance. What is the closing balance of petty cash? 300 is the closing balance. See in option. Option A is correct one. Question 93. Opening petty cash at a branch rupees 600. Petty cash remitted by head of piece rupees 1100. Actual petty expenses paid by branch rupees 1200. What is the amount of closing balance of a petty cash at a branch? If the petty cash is maintained on impress system, under the impress system, opening petty cash balance is the same as closing petty cash balance. So here, impress system is followed. Closing petty cash balance will be 600. C in option. C is correct one. Question 94. Insurance premium paid during the year will be 1800 for 15 months. So for the end date, 30th June 2021. Assuming that accounting year ends on 31st March 21, what is the amount of prepaid insurance? Here, accounting year ends on 31st March 21. And insurance is paid up to 30th June 21. It means a three months period is a advance payment is called as a prepaid insurance. Here, insurance premium paid rupees 1800 for a 15 months period. We have to find out three months period. It comes rupees 360. This is the prepaid insurance. C in option. Option A is correct one. Question 95. Opening petty cash at a branch rupees 100 for meeting petty disbursement. A check of rupees 150 is sent to branch on 20th of every month. The actual petty expenses incurred during the period rupees 950. Assuming that branch accounts are closed for a 6 months period. What is the closing balance of petty cash? No opening balance is rupees 100. Monthly payment rupees 150 for a 6 months period. It comes rupees 900. Total cash rupees 1000. Out of these expenses incurred during the period rupees 950. We have to subtract 950 and the closing balance will be 50. 50 rupees is the closing balance of petty cash. C in option. Option C is correct one. Question 96 sir. Under stock and data system, a debit difference in a branch stock account is called as a, a shortage. Here option B is correct one. Question 97. Under stock and data system, credit difference in a branch stock account is called as a, a surplus. Option A is correct one. Question 98. The difference in branch adjustment account is transferred to a branch profit and loss account. Here option C is correct one. Question 99. Under stock and data system, bad debts discount allowed to debtors is debited to Didash account and credited to a Didash account. Here branch expense account debited and branch debtors account credited. Here option A is correct one. Question 100. Under stock and data system, loading on shortage is a debited to a Didash account. Here debited to branch adjustment account. Here option D is correct one. Question 101. Total cash remitted by branch to head of piece rupees 45,000. Including cash remitted by debtors direct to head of piece rupees 3,000 and cashes rupees 12,000. What is the amount of collection from debtors by branch? Here total collection rupees 45,000. Out of this cashes rupees 12,000 and direct remitted by debtors to head of piece rupees 3,000. 12 plus 3, 15,000 we have to subtract 1 and answer comes rupees 30,000 is a collection from debtors by branch. C in option. Option B is correct one. Question 102. Total sales rupees 1,10,000. Cash sales rupees 40,000. What is the amount of credit sales? Just we have to subtract. 1,10,000 minus 40. It comes 70,000 is a credit sales. C in option. Option C is correct one. Question 103. Opening stock at branch rupees 50,000 at cost price. Goods sent to branch during the year rupees 1 lakhs. Total sales rupees 1 lakh 50 and goods destroyed fire rupees 2000. Sales return rupees 1000. The branch manager is instructed to sell goods at profit of 25% on cost price. What is the closing stock at branch at cost price? Make a workings. Opening stock rupees 50,000. Goods sent during the year rupees 1 lakhs. 
total stock in branch rupees 150 out of this goods sales by branch rupees 150 but it is a sale price including the profit 150 is a total sales from this one we have to subtract the sales return rupees 1000 is a net sale price of goods sales by the branch this includes a profit profit percentage is a 25% on cost price means one fourth on cost price it means one fifth on invoice price or sale price one fifth profit is included in a sale price we have to subtract one fifth profit of this one we find out the Twenty nine eight hundred is the profit included in one forty nine. We find out the cost of goods sale. One lakh nineteen thousand two hundred. One fifty minus one lakh nineteen two hundred. An answer comes to be here thirty thousand eight hundred. Again, we have to subtract the goods destroyed by fire rupees two thousand. From this one, we have to subtract rupees two thousand. An answer comes to be twenty eight thousand eight hundred. It is the closing stock at branch. At cost price, see in option. Option A is correct one. Question one hundred and four. Opening stock of goods at cost price rupees four thousand. Goods sent to branch during the period rupees eighty thousand. Total sales by branch rupees ninety nine thousand, which is a fifty percent above cost price. Goods returned to head office rupees two thousand, and goods distributed as free sample rupees three thousand, and goods returned by customer rupees one fifty. What is the closing stock at branch? At a cost price, we make a workings opening stock rupees four thousand. We have to add one goods sent to branch rupees eighty thousand. Total comes to be eighty four thousand. From this one, we have to subtract the cost of goods sold. Here, total sales. Rupees ninety nine thousand. From this one, we have to subtract the goods returned by customer. It is sales return. Rupees one fifty. Net sales rupees ninety eight eight fifty, which includes the profit percentage. Here, the profit percentage fifty percent above cost price. It means one half on cost price or a one third on sale price. Here. Profit is one third on a sale price. We find out it three three zero nine, three two zero six, three nine zero twenty seven. One remains three five zero fifteen. This is the profit included in a sales price. We find out the cost of goods sold. Rupees three five nine hundred is the cost of goods sold. We subtract one. Eighteen thousand hundred. Again, we have to subtract the goods distributed as a free sample. As free sample. Here, free sample rupees three thousand. We have to subtract one. An answer comes rupees fifteen thousand hundred. Again, we have to subtract the goods. A return of two H O. Rupees, goods return H O. Rupees two thousand. We have to deduct one. And resulting answers come rupees thirteen thousand hundred is the cost of stock remain with the branch. This is the answer. C in option. Option B is correct one. Question one hundred and five. Opening balance of furniture rupees twelve thousand. The depreciation is to be charged at ten percent per annum. The branch accounts are closed for six months period. What is the closing balance of furniture? Here, depreciation is ten percent per annum. For six months period, it will be five percent. Twelve thousand at five percent, it comes six hundred. Twelve thousand minus six hundred is a eleven four hundred. Is a closing balance of furniture. C in option. Option C is correct one. Question hundred six. Under the branch trading profit account. The transaction related goods 
such as opening stock, closing stock, goods sent to branch, goods returned to head office are recorded at a cost price. Here option A is correct one. Question 107. And the stock and data system difference in goods sent to branch account is transferred to a Didash account. Here purchases or trading account. Option C is correct one. Question 108. Which of the following consists in a computer system? Main computer, input output devices, power supply unit and all of these one. Here option D is correct one. All of these one are a consist of computer system. CPU means control process unit. Option A is correct one. Question 110. Which of the following consists of CPU? Options are given. Control unit, arithmetic and logic unit, memory unit, all of the above. Here option D is correct one. Question 111. The memory unit consists of main memory or primary memory. Option B, secondary memory. Option C, A and B and none of these one. Here option C is correct one. VDU means visual display unit. Option A is correct one. Question 113. Data refers various parts of computer machine. Here options are given software, hardware, A and B, none of these one. Here hardware refers a various part of computer machine. Option B is correct one. Question 114. The computer program supplied by manufacturer along with a computer are called as a, a software. Here option A is correct one. Question 115. The most popular accounting software package is a a tally. Here option A is correct one. Question 116. Which of the following voucher provided by tally? A contra voucher, payment voucher, receipt voucher, all of the above. Here option D is correct one. All of the above voucher provided by tally. Question 117. Dadash is original document which is used as evidence of the entries made in the books of the account. Here voucher is original document. Option A is correct one. Question 118. Which of the following options are provided with a tally? Options are given accounting with inventory, accounting only, inventory system only, all of the above. Here option D is correct one. All of the above options are provided with a tally. Question 119. Cash deposited into bank and cash withdraw from bank. Which type of voucher is prepared in tally? Here contra voucher is prepared in a tally. See in option. Option C is correct one. Question 120. Dadash is an adjustment voucher used for non-cash transaction. Is a journal voucher, accrual voucher, A and B, none of these one. Here option C is correct one. Question 121. When purchase return goods to seller, the seller prepares a Dadash. Here a seller prepares a credit note. Option B is correct one. Question 122. When purchaser return goods to the seller, the purchaser prepare a die dash. Here, the purchaser prepares a debit note. Here, option A is correct one. Question 123. When goods are required to move from one place to another place by transport, a report is generated as a e-way bill reporter. Here, option B is correct one. Question 124. SAP means a system application and products are in a data processing. Here option A is correct one. Question 125. Data reports shows the performance of business for a, a specific period. A ratio analysis report shows the performance of a business for a specific period. Here option B is correct one. Question 126. The latest version in tally. Data gives the balance sheet as per schedule 6 of the Companies Act 2013. Here ERP 9. Option C is correct one. ERP 9 gives the balance sheet as per schedule 6 of the Companies Act 2013. These are the multiple choice questions and answers are given on last page. These are the answers. Okay. Thank you.